Hi everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss about the console IO operation and C language. We can start with the printf and scanf function and C. These are the basic function used for inputting and outputting in C language. Both functions are the inbuilt library functions and its body are present inside a standard library that is the standard input output header file std io okay this dot h indicate this is a standard header file in which this printf and scanner functions are available okay the printf function is used for outputting something it prints the given statement to the output console and the general syntax for the printf function is printf the keyword printf inside the parenthesis and inside the double quotes we can specify the string or the statement or anything that we want to directly display on the screen if we want to display something directly onto the screen in the syntax of the printf is like this printf inside the parenthesis and inside the quotes just simply specify the thing that we want to display and this printf statement must be end with a semicolon. And another situation of view, printf usage is like this. Printf inside the parenthesis and inside the code specify the format string. And with a comma, next specify the argument list. And end with a semicolon. Okay, here, here we want to display certain type of data. If you are going to specify the type of data and if you are uh, interested or if we need to specify or if we have certain importance in the type of data, then follow the second uh, syntax for the printer. We need to specify the type of data or is there any importance or if we want to access a particular type of data for displaying we need to specify its type that is this format string then after closing this cards with a comma then specify the actual value of that particular type that particular format okay and for format string suppose if we are going to display an integer type data then the format string is like percentage d if you are going to display a character type data, then specify the format string as percentage %c. And if you are going to display a string, then specify the format string as percentage %s. And if you are going to display a fractional number, a floating point number, then the format string is like percentage %f. These are the some common basic uh, formatting uh, format string that are going to use in our coming programs okay now we can consider some program example to understand the usage of this printf statement okay so for that I'm going to use this particular uh, uh, what this platform that is the code block okay once again I'm going to start this Okay, so this is the code block. Now just open this. Okay. Okay, you can say you can uh, freely download this code block application and uh, you can install it. And we can try our program example in this code block platform. So I'm going to open a new file here. an empty file so first of all we want to include the header file in which our library function is available we have already mentioned that our printf and scan of library functions are inbuilt functions and are directly available in a standard input output header file so must include that header file in our program first then only we can access the inbuilt function printf and scan of in our program okay so this is the syntax for uh, including the header file in our program just notice this hash uh, sorry hash include inside the angle bracket stdio.h right so this is the syntax for including the header file in our program 
okay and now we can start our main function what's the significance of using this main this main function actually a user defined function and the presence of this main indicate that this is the starting point of our program execution so each c program must contain a main function okay and the name must be always main itself but the content of this main function we can define the main function body differently with respect to our application or with respect to our uh, purpose of program so the body may be different but the name should always be main itself because the main function actually indicate the starting point of our program execution at the time of program execution okay and the syntax of this main function definition is main with a parenthesis opening and closing parenthesis and then open and close a brace okay inside the brace we can define the body of this main the body is going to define by the user itself so this main is a user defined function and the type of this main function here it is given as void this void indicates that nothing what's the meaning of the type of this main function here it is void and this indicates that after executing this function this main function will not return nothing void means nothing so from this it clear that after the execution of this particular main function it will not return anything okay so here i am going to introduce the way of using print up function okay so we are we have already included this standard input output header file here because the print up and scan of inbuilt functions are available in our standard input output header file so first included this here then we start the main function okay inside this going to simply display a statement like this right and we need to end the statement with a semicolon okay we can specify any type of values or any number of statements or any symbols inside this double quotes of our printf they will directly appear in our display screen after its execution okay so before the execution we need to save this file so for simply save with here i am going to save this function okay simply given a name like this first dot c okay the first here indicates the name of our file and this extension dot c indicates the file is a c file okay now i am i have saved this file with a name what first okay and must include this extension as dot c okay now we can compile this file for compilation just uh use this button build button this build button press this build this build button perform the conversion of this uh, c program code into its machine code if there exist any mistake or syntax error then the uh, error will display here in this window okay here in this program we have no errors so here it shows uh, like this zero errors zero warning etc so after the compilation this code uh, that means after the compilation its machine code equivalent get available now okay now we can run this program for running we can use this button okay so this is the output console or output window here it display our statement hello how are you okay so this is the case so now we can make certain error 
that means suppose I'm going to uh, put the semicolon at the end of this printf statement now I'm going to uh, debug this first instead of using this uh, debug and build function we can simply put this button this actually uh, a button for performing compilation and execution together okay so simply click this button it will compile and here we have an error that means in line number 5 we have an error expected semicolon before this parenthesis okay now we can uh, this is the uh, line 5 so expected a semicolon here okay now I put that semicolon here now again try to compile and run this okay now it is error free so the result will directly available here okay so we can display anything so whatever value I put here inside this uh, inside this uh, course of printf after execution it will directly available in our output console right okay now we can consider the second format of printf statement so sorry sorry before that we need to understand the usage of new line character vertical and horizontal spacing using printf okay in the previous program example uh, displayed hello how are you in this next example I am going to display hello in the first line how in the second line and are you in the third line right so I am going to display uh, words in different lines how it possible for that we can type like this printf okay inside hello okay and here next leg line again print off okay in the third line and with semicolon right okay and the expected result is in the first line we need this hello and in the second line we need how uh, and in the third line we need this one okay so now we can save this actually I have made these changes in the previous file itself first file itself so simply save it and or rewrite the new code in the previous file and going to compile and run now okay what will happen i'll uh, type this hello in first printf how in the second printf and are you in the third printf but in the output all these comes together in a single line okay so how can we make these three sentences in three different uh, line how it possible simply put a new line character that means put slash and here similarly here also put a slash and okay what will happen after printing this hello next execute slash and slash and indicate a new line character so control automatically goes to next line then display how and going to execute this slash and again that means the control move to next line and display this are you okay so now we can consider the output once again look at this the output like this hello how and are you? all comes in three different line got the difference so we can put the slash and here the same result occurs by placing this slash in here what's the meaning of this after displaying hello uh, while starting the execution of the second printer what happened here it is the slash in first 
that means the new line character first so the control directly move to the next line and display this okay now we can remove this here and put this slash in here instead okay what happened after coming the control to next line it display how and after that i'll start the execution of the third printf here it is the slash in first that means first transfer the control to the next line and display this are you okay now we can check the result right hello how are you okay but there is a space here how it happen i put a space after the slash in and here we have no slash okay so the result is check the difference in the first case hello displayed here after displaying uh, and while starting the execution of the second print of the uh, here it is the slash n the new line character so control move from here to here okay here i put a space that is why a space here then it display hello okay after completing the second print of it start the execution of third print of now we have this new line character slash in here okay so control transfer from this point to this third line starting point and display r space u right okay so this is the case of or this is the output of this particular program this is vertical spacing or new line character we can introduce one more that is the slash t okay here uh, i put a single space i am going to put here two space okay okay so we can uh, understand the difference with this hello and after that i'll start the execution of second print of it comes here in the new line and put a space then display how and after that again a slash in the start of third print of so comes in the third line and here we have two space okay so put a small amount of space blank space here then display are you okay instead of putting space we can introduce or we can use the tab space how to use this tab space we can use this tab space like slash t what's the difference instead of using this here i put to slash t so check the output to get this first hello displayed here next control transfer to next line and put a tab space tab is a particular amount of particular fixed amount of space so this is that space indicated by the slash t so here it put a vertical spacing blank spacing then display how after that uh, at the beginning of the third print of it comes to the new line and put two tab space and display r u okay okay this is a usage of slash t okay now we can uh, we can understand one more syntax for displaying the same hello in one line how in second line and are you in third line using a single print of is it possible using a single print of is it possible to display the same result hello in one line uh, how in second line and are you in third line let's try this okay after hello we need to move to the second line and put a blank space a tab amount of space there okay then display the statement how okay again we want to move to the next line and put two tab space there okay and display the statement r u with some question mark okay so check the output for this particular save then compile and run 
right so this one also exactly same as our three uh, printf statement using a single printf right so identify the difference okay now i'm going to write some program that is printf okay going to display a star first okay then i'm going to transfer the control to next line then i'm going to print another star there again i need to put a space there and going to display the second star now i'm going to move to the third line okay going to display first star then put a space tab space there and going to display the second star again put a tab space there and going to display the third star okay now i am going to move to the fourth line and i am going to display the first star then put a tab space going to display the second star and put a tab space and display the third star again put a tab space and display the fourth star okay so and this is the end of the print statement so what is the expected out, output first display a star in the first top left corner of our output console then move to the next line and display a star and put a tab space and display another star and move to the next line there put three star with a tab space difference in between then move to the fourth line and display four different star with a tab space in between okay so save this program and compile and run okay so this is the output okay now i think you all are uh, familiar with the uh, new line and tab space vertical and horizontal spacing and also with the basic syntax uh, of printf function okay thank you